Well, hi there. And uh, today I want to read from uh, Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 6 to 12. It's a selection of verses. O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? Did you not, our God, drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel? O oh, our God, will you not execute judgment on them? And you can see, are you not, did you not, and will you not? Those three tenses you can see in this extract of verses from 2 Chronicles chapter 20. It's from the great prayer of Jehoshaphat for deliverance from a vast confederation of armies that was attacking Judah. And he appealed to those three things from the past, the present, and the future. In the past, what he, who God is, what God had done in the past, and what he would do for them. These th three things undergird the faith of everyone who prays. Firstly, God is flawless. He's perfect. The very definition of goodness. He is alone supreme, the creator of all things dwelling in highest authority over the universe, both visible and invisible. He's all-knowing, all-seeing, all-powerful. Nothing is too hard for him, and he dwells in immutable, unhurried, undisturbed light, ruling over all the affairs of human beings. Well, secondly, great... God has done great things, and both in Bible times and throughout the history of the church, in our own personal histories, he delivered his people from Egypt. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He delivered the afflicted from every power of evil. He raised up great men to turn nations back to God. John Wesley, George Whitfield, Billy Graham, and he has transformed the lives of countless thousands of sinners. And so thirdly, standing on these two great pillars of who God is and what he has done in the past, we may bring our petitions to him, knowing he will never change. As he has been in the past, so he will be in the future. He comes to the aid of all who call upon him. God has never broken a promise, for he is incapable of doing so. And in, it is the same God of believers in the past who will act on our behalf today. He is Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. 